22 fucking hours at it since 6 in the morning. I'll tell you what transpired. Fucking Amer- American Airlines. Airlines. Fucking bitch-ass maggots. No! No, no shout out American. Don't shout out American Airlines. No. So, we were supposed to be here right now. We're supposed to be here like 9.30. Now we're it's supposed 5 to be. You want to tell the people that you got there at 8? And we got there at around 8, around 8 a.m. But we left your place around 6.30 promptly. Yeah, You're, You had a straight flight on Spirit to Columbus. We booked American that had a connecting flight in Phoenix. It was delayed and it would have interfered with our connection to Columbus. So we waited in the terminal like all morning into like the early afternoon. Finally boarded. Yep. Got to Dallas. And then like we landed within like 45 minutes of our next connecting flight. And that's funny because once we got off the stairs, this fool ran, dude. Oh, man, this yeah. fool fucking ran. And I was like, fuck, I got to run too. And once we got to the terminal, nobody was boarding or anything. There was It wasn't even open at all. Yeah, the reason why it was delayed was that there was a, like a problem with the airplane that they're trying to fix, and then they fixed it. They planed, they put everyone on, mm-hmm. and then they they discovered another problem. They had to deplane everyone, Whew. so we were there for about four hours, After four like or five, five hours. Delays. Yeah. If you look at our emails, fool, it's like a list of delays. Delay. But you'll get kicked out of this. We met Steve Nash. I was like, it is him. Yeah. Cause you know who I thought it was at first? I thought it was Dave England from Jackass. <laughs> Cause it kind of looks like yeah. Pochettino left and never sing four in a row. You'll never sing that. Come on with it. You'll Keep never it sing that. Keep it Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? Oh. 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 Oh
Cheers, baby. And come on, Sid Let's go! So I'm here with Jake from Rocket Citizens and Patrick Holly from FCFC Sydney. Hey guys, why don't you guys ask Dr. Chris Hatch to show us our take? I thought we played good. We held up a little bit towards the half, which is understandable with the 2-0 lead. I think that there are options open with Jack and Cobra right there on the left side. I really think we can really exploit that. Chelsea are obviously, they've got nothing going. I mean, we could, we could win this game easy. It's quite interesting to see what um, Pep's doing at the moment. A little bit of experimentation. So, you notice Calvin Phillips is not under as much pressure because he's got him playing almost like a center back slash quarterback sort of role. Spraying long balls everywhere, long passes. Trying to get Jack or trying to get Bob to run onto him. Maybe dropping some hints as to what we might be doing with our game plan this season. Whether Calvin's good enough to, to get a uh, plenty of game time this season remains to be seen. I can see a bit of that happening now, and it wouldn't be surprised if we see a few more centre backs do it once the season starts to kick off. So it's interesting to see what we're doing. It's a bit different to what we've done over the last few years, but I'm very excited to see this. Do you think Holland gets a hat trick? Yeah, he gets a hat trick. We got the community show coming up. What do you guys think about that? I'm looking forward to it, man. Couldn't give a flying fuck. <laughs> yeah, honestly, really. You know our history about the community show and what we do the rest of the season? Really couldn't give a flying fuck. Look, mate, to be honest, it's just a glorified preseason friendly, in my opinion. If we did get one of United, I'm happy. But I'd just rather see the, the team get back to full strength as quickly as possible. I think we're really going to exploit the injuries United have. I mean, they, they, they're down I was down at bad. the Arsenal United game with uh, where Holland and another player. Was yeah, there. they're down they bad. Did you ever freeze? Did you ever freeze? I did not. I, I, I was down the other side. Oh, they the money! Oh, they waste the money! Oh, they waste the money! It is really sad to see our rival from across the road spend, what is it, 80 million pounds of. Center back, and he just gets in the first fucking game. Player, yeah. Yeah. So I say, sorry, in a mid table club in the French yeah. league. Like, yeah. there's a difference here. There's a simple thing like, find the gap. Mind That's the all gap. I can say. Yeah. Mind yeah. the gap. Yeah. That's all that matters. All right, Jake, Rocket Sisters, nice to meet you. Thank yeah, you so much. Why did it Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube to the Matt Kenny and White. Matt Kenny and White. This is Patrick Holly. Thank you so much. The Chelsea team looks kind of the same as last season. There's really nothing changed. They try to play through the uh, outside backs or wingers. But the wingers doesn't really produce much. After after two nice goals from Holanda, we expecting a hat trick. I would say Pep will probably sub him off early ah. because I read somewhere that Pep said Holland wasn't feeling well, so maybe he might sub him off just because he already has two goals and Pep is not the type of person that will keep you on just so you can get your hat trick. Yes, okay, sir. AJ, you're most auspiciously wearing a Manchester yes, United. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But going back to what he said about Modric, he's ass. I'm sorry, can I say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. He had one take on, and he had a shot. It was blocked on target, right? Do you guys Part see that? Nardes. Yeah. Part Nardes. We Andrew saw it. Fernandez? <laughs> Andrew Fernandez? Part Nardes. Part Andrew Fernandez? <laughs> Part Nardes, yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. I see you. But yeah, you. Did you guys see the open goal that he missed? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm not really pleased with him. His performance levels, down. So yeah. he made that comment, too. I'm not really trying to get into it, but... <laughs> I, you, you can say it. He's a racist. You heard the stadium boo. If we can't get top four, Ten Hag should go. It's the last chance. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. think Arsenal win in the league. Man City second. United third. And Liverpool fourth. To be honest, dude, like, we haven't done our, our official preseason episode, but I'm I'm thinking Arsenal can win. And like four in a row is great, but that complac creates complacency. So we, we have to see if this team can really fend off that complacency. You know what I mean? Chelsea's actually playing with a team. That could possibly be their starting lineup in the Prem. Yeah. This team that they're playing with could possibly yes, be their starting yes, lineup. And they're playing against City's kind of second team, right? Academy, plus the two stars, Grealish and Howland. I have a friend named Chewy. He's a Chelsea fan. <laughs> Shout out fan. to Chewy, bro. He's a Chelsea fan. And he texted oh, me during the game. He said he's done watching. He hopes we're safe. I know preseason is in America, and some people might say they don't care. So, you know, it's a foreshadowing of what's to come, of what Chelsea's doing right now. It's very disappointing. Kind of hey, but we love to see it, right? You we love to see it. Chelsea's happy. I love to see it. You know, I love to see I love to see Chelsea get beat. Oh, shit. Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob. Oh, let's go. 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 let us go let us go
You're done now. Yes, sir. Get blocked! Again, again, again. Get blocked! <laughs> oh, well, well. We're back. We're back. We're back. One, two, three.